Hey everyone, this is Sarah, Youth Librarian at Penyon Public Library. Welcome to Libby Recommendations. I'm guesting in Alex's usual spot today to talk about young adult books that grown-ups will love. In the youth services area, we often see adults sneaking in to grab the latest YA fiction. And I'm here to tell you, you don't need to be embarrassed if you love YA books or you're looking for something new. You're reading and you're getting something out of it, and that's all that matters anyway. Young adult fiction is generally characterized by coming-of-age stories that follow characters as they experience the turbulence of adolescence. This makes it a good genre for exploring the whys behind how societies work. There's lots of speculative and dystopian fiction falling under the young adult umbrella these days, so we'll start there. M.T. Anderson is one of my personal favorite young adult writers and he's won acclaim for his use of satire and wit to point out the flaws of society's past, present, and future. Feed, which is nearly 20 years old as of this writing, still manages to be prescient. This is a cyberpunk novel from the first-person perspective of a teenager who lives in a time where the internet is implanted in people's brains and advertising follows you everywhere. It's difficult to make a book about being a mindful consumer hilarious, but Anderson manages and makes you think. The Octavian Nothing series seen here takes a completely different tack. Set in revolutionary Boston, its protagonist is a young mixed-race man who has lived a sheltered existence. It tackles race, class, and justice, and entreats us to think about the origins of our country in a new light. Anderson has won many awards, and once you've discovered his ability to look sideways at a culture, you'll be hooked. Another provocative take on history can be found in Dread Nation by Justina Ireland. Set in an alternate history where privileged whites have enslaved African Americans and Native Americans and sent them to boarding schools to learn to become zombie killers, this book is action-packed and imaginative. Ireland has an approachable style and this makes for a quick read with lots of thought-provoking scenes. This book is practically begging for a miniseries treatment and the sequel was just released. So try this one out if you're looking for a heaping helping of zombie action with a side of social justice. If you prefer your historical fiction to skew closer to historical fact, try A Northern Light by Jennifer Donnelly. As the publisher's description says, set in 1906 in the Adirondack Mountains against the backdrop of the murder that inspired Theodore Dreiser's An American Tragedy, this Prince Honor winning coming of age novel effortlessly weaves romance, history, and a murder mystery into something moving, real, and wholly original. This is a read that still manages to be fun and hopeful despite the sometimes dark subject matter, and it illustrates how young adult authors often bring a fresh perspective to stories we've heard before. Another author who follows in this mold is Lee Bardugo, who made a splash with her debut novel Shadow and Bone in 2012. She's since built a large body of work set in her Grishaverse universe, a Russia-inspired fantasy world where literal powers of darkness and light are in play. Her first trilogy is a fast and grossing read with a well-done romance that doesn't overwhelm the quickly moving plot, which is a pretty traditional take on the classic orphan discovers hidden powers and joins a ragtag family trope. Adjacent works expand on that world. She has classic heist novels, Wonder Woman novels. She's a versatile, exciting writer with a distinctive style that you'll either love or hate. I recommend giving her a try if you enjoyed Lev Grossman's The Magicians, and if you like her, you'll probably also like the books of Maggie Stiefvater. Finally, something completely different, Furthermore by Tahira Mafi. This is a middle grade novel that's meant for tweens and younger teens, making it an easy read for grown-ups. That's certainly not to say that it's lightweight. Instead, this is a marvel of world building, clever and surprising and with true emotional heft. This is a book for folks looking for something that will remind them of the first time they slipped into the world of Narnia or Hogwarts or Wonderland, a fully realized world full of dangers and discoveries. Mafi has a great way with words and this is a wonderful book to read aloud and share with a group. That's all my recommendations for today. There are plenty of other great young adult books out there, and I hope you enjoy discovering them. Your library staff are always happy to help with recommendations, too. As always, if you have questions about using Libby or need help with any other digital library operations, 
please email us at info at pypl.org. Happy reading!